Hey, if you're new, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. If you're old, what's up famo? Let's go and get into the video. Um, I started off with freshly cleaned hair as you all see it's dripping down got me a little towel Make sure you're wearing a shirt that you don't mind getting color on it'll wash out But just wear something that you don't care. I'm wearing my Virginia Beach Shirt nothing. I really care about something. I just chilling. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair into four sections All right So let's go and get into the part where y'all been waiting on which is this hair wax so this time I ordered from Mafia Gang. I don't know if y'all can see it. Um, they have also a very natural based um, product. Um, it looks pretty interesting right now. It looks more like a like mahogany or like a pink. I don't even want to say it's mahogany. That's a lot. It looks more like a pinkish red. But um, we'll see. Let's go and open this and see what it is. This is smelling like. Oh. So this smells like like Axman. Um, Axman cologne or like body wash. Like men cologne. Um, okay. That's very different. Not saying that I don't like the smell, but it's very manly smelling. So just like last time, we're gonna go ahead and divide this section in half back here. Now that sis has been sectioned, I'm going to go ahead and add special water to that section again. This product, I realized, works best with water. Um, you can try it dry, but I don't think it's going to turn out right being dry. All right. So just like last time, I'm going to go in with my Moroccan curl definer. So now that that's in there. So the last time you all know, if you all watched the last video, I used this TG&I um, buttercream. This worked amazing, but I wanted to try something a little different this time and try the Mie um, Miel, um, what is this called again? Twisting Soufflé. So it ended up working pretty good in my hair. So what I'm gonna do is just do this for all the sections before I put in the wax. All right, for the fun part, once again, we're going to give this another love drench. Ooh, misty, misty everywhere. They're going to get wet. And let's go ahead with the color. Kind of excited. Ooh, this is definitely a different consistency than the other one. The other one, like, just came out so smooth. And this is more like chalky like okay okay so this is what we're looking like right now so once again i don't think i really want to do my roots right you know this is this is definitely different but okay Oh, this is really different. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. <laughs> this is really different. But once again, I'm not really worrying too much about the back because of the fact that um, I feel like people be focused more on the front than the back. So I already have product on my hand and look how nicely it distributes into the other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> Y'all showing out, showing out. Even with me putting on a different hair product on my head, 
the smell of this is very, very overwhelming. Do a little push up for the curls to do a little popping. What is it called? Um, scrunching. All right. So if I feel like more is going to be needed on this, then I'm going to come back. So this is how this is looking so far. Alright you all, so I finally finished I smoked again. It easily came off with some warm water and some soap. I mean you don't have to use soap, but I use soap. Um it came off very easily. This is how my hair is looking. Um, so far I will say with this one I had to use a lot more. Like I legit put a dent in this part. Um, with the other ones, I didn't put as much as a dent in it, but I will say with this one, um, with this one, I had to um apply it thicker than the other one. The other one was very light, um, and I could lightly play it, apply it, and I could see the color. But with this one, it was like, oh, we're gonna have to really rub you in. <laughs> So, um, I rubbed it in. Um, of course, as always, it does the little define on the end of my curl. So, that was nice to see. Um, so the next step of this is to go on with my blow dryer and use a warm setting really quickly because I feel like that does something to color because I noticed that last time. Um, do a warm blow really quick and then switch the warm blow to a cool blow because wax melts in heat but it also molds and cool. So I use cool air. So let's go on and get into it. So now I'm going to let my hair um, air dry a little bit. I'm going to do a little clean up, clean up around my face. And I'm going to come back, do one more blow dry, and then I'm going to show you all the next steps. All right, so I gave myself a chance to go get a little snack, a little something, something. And I'm going to come back and air dry my hair again with the blow dryer this time, though. So we're going to continue drying until we get, like, 95% dry, like no wet wax in it. Okay, so now that the hair is dry, I normally put it on my silk bonnet and put that on so that it can continue to really dry some more So this because it's like 95% so I just touched my hair and nothing came off. So like a little bit came off so that I'm going to continue to let it dry but I'm going to let it dry on my bonnet so that it won't get on anything if there's some pieces that's still wet and I'll come back with you all tomorrow and you can all see what day two is looking like for me all right you all so I'm coming with a day two for you all I had to go out run a little errand <laughs> put your little mask on quarantine baby but anyways um day two here is looking really good like I think after like an hour of like continuing to let my hair set out after I made the first part, um, 
the color really started popping and so now this is what it's looking like today and it looks really really good you guys like i've been getting so many compliments at this point i have not posted any posted ugh, i have not posted any pictures on social media because i don't want to ruin the surprise of that i already changed my hair color because last time people saw me on social media i had blue hair and that was because i wanted to leave the suspicion as to how long i was gonna keep my blue hair and how quickly i was going to change it so i switched it up on people and now it's red so i feel like i'm about to blow people out the water i blew my boyfriend out the water he really liked he liked the blue hair but he really likes the red hair like the red hair really did something for him so i can't wait to take it out on day three because you all already know that i leave it in for at least three days to let the product set in and to let the twist set in so i can have a really nice twist out because it's this side that always comes out a little fuzzy and frizzy because this side is always a little bit more wavy compared to this side i always get really defined no matter whether i have wax in it or not i don't know who is trying to hit me but um i'm really excited to take this out today i just threw a hat on because i didn't just want to go out playing so you know put my little uh jesus hat on um so it's looking pretty good i'm really happy i'm looking very natural and bare today um because i knew i really wasn't gonna get out. i was gonna run to the bank and go to the store really quick and go back home that's a that's about it so Stay tuned for day uh, three. <laughs> Alright you all, so this is day three here. I finally like took out the twist and y'all, I just want to say that my hair is looking absolutely amazing. I'm loving this red. Um, I will say with this um, product, I noticed a lot more transfer on my hand when I was taking it off. Um, I mean, it's nothing too bad. I mean, wash it off and go on. But I think that's only because I was unraveling it. And with unraveling, I had like a lot of like extra flakes all over the place. So, you know, that's, that's normal. That's probably the um, wax just breaking off. But, uh, I mean... <laughs> This is looking really cute today. Like, I'm really liking this hair, y'all. This color, I think, is better than the blue. The blue was nice, but of course, if you all didn't see it, I'll link it again right here. Um, The blue just wasn't showing like it, this is showing. Like, the blue would show in natural light, but it wouldn't show, like, in front of my, like, LEDs. In front of the LEDs, it was, like, looking really dark. Product appliance was thicker, so I do have some, like, pieces that I had when I was unraveling that I had to like run my finger through and like take out the glump because that's what it was doing. I'm, I'm looking <laughs> so cute. Like I can't go nowhere. I'm, I'm in quarantine. Like who's going to see my outfit? <laughs> but alright you all. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Until next time. <laughs>